Aum Sum had a wild imagination. And today, his imagination had taken him all the way to the moon. Floating inside his spacesuit, Aum Sum looked around. Everything was quiet, too quiet. No birds chirping, no cars honking, not even a breeze. He bounced gently with every step. That's because the moon's gravity was only one-sixth of Earth's. Amsum felt like a superhero. He could take huge leaps without much effort. One small hop sent him soaring several meters into the air. The moon was covered in powdery dust and sharp rocks, and Amsum had to be careful not to trip. Time huh? moved differently here. One day on the moon lasted as long as 29 Earth days. That meant weeks of blazing sunlight followed by weeks of freezing darkness. Aum Sum was glad he had his special spacesuit, which kept his body warm or cool depending on the temperature. But even with the suit, he knew life on the moon wasn't easy. There was no air to breathe, no water to drink, and no plants or animals to keep him company. Everything had to be brought from Earth or created inside special machines. As he looked up, the Earth stared back at him, a blue and green ball hanging motionless in the sky. Unlike the moon, Earth had clouds, oceans, forests, and life. It looked warm and alive. Here, the sky was always black, even when the sun was shining. He explored the moon's surface, hopping from crater to crater. Omsum loved the way the dust puffed up around his boots and then quickly settled. There was no wind to blow it away, so his footprints might stay there for hundreds or even thousands of years. Aumsum imagined people living here someday, building homes inside giant bubbles, growing food in space gardens, and using solar panels to power everything. Hmm.